Hey guys, my name is Charles Lee. Today I'm going to share really like interesting technique for designing Mac and vehicles for you guys. This is a, uh, the technique like I've been using uh, my entire career, actually using my hobby. So I don't know how many of you guys are interested in making Gunpla. So this is one of my, uh, the biggest hobby. Of, I've been making Gunpla for almost like 10 years now. And um, this is like the Sazavi master grade. So when it comes down to Mac, and the vehicle design for me, one of the hardest thing was just getting into like the believable, like the details, right? Like the pipes, how the like, you know, the joints is working. So to me, like, you know, actually building this Gunpla model, it helped me so much to understanding like the realistic, you know, um, the mechanism. So I really suggest you guys, uh, especially those who really want to get into mech design and uh, vehicle design. Yeah, build one of these. <laughs> so, and then don't just stop there. And actually, after you make them, and then try to study. So today, I'm I'm going to share with you guys like you know, how I quickly study. You know, um, yeah, using like the, any type of like you know this gunpla uh, or like you know any robot toys. So yeah, okay. So if you look at it, um, so I probably like the Sazabi is like one of the most detailed uh, you know the robot design out there. Is because the one of the reasons this is considered to be like you know the one of the best uh, the design is it has a lot of exposed parts. So making Gunpla really made me realize like how to approach like you know the mech and vehicle design. Um, so if you really try to dissect this one, and when you usually build a Gunpla, you start building them from in, uh, inside out, right? So you know they have like inner frame, and then as you can see, all these like the gray parts, like the metal parts. They're all, you know, like the, you know, just like a human body, right? Like it's inside. And then all these like red parts is actually almost like an armor. So you actually put them on top of it. So I, when I like to build this, I was like, yeah, really mesmerized by, you know, these techniques and all these like, you know, the, the manufacturing, you know, the engineering, like the, the band-aid, you know, to put it into like this max. But also I was thinking like, yeah, maybe I can use these to my design, right? So also this doesn't mean like you have to limit your you know design source to just a Gundam, but you can also apply these techniques to others as well. So for me, it's it's really interesting um, to study this. So so let's talk about this quick. So I'm going to use uh, this brush pen, the Pentel brush pen, because uh, this gives me like really quick, thin, thick lines, right? Just quickly. It's not like a pencil like you have to just go through multiple times to get like really uh, you know, like dark lines. Yeah, so what's really interesting about uh, this, this Sazavi is, uh, you know, I'm more interested in the back view, right? I mean, fun part is like, it's pretty awesome as well, but you know, I think the best angle for this mech is actually this view right here, where you can see all this exposed, you know, like all this like a segmentation, all this like opening hatches, so well as all this like a thruster actually showing through. So when I look at this, like, yeah, I'll try to, to practice, like, you know, just try to like steal some ideas from this. So it really up to you, right? Like if you wanna, if, you, if you're a beginner and then, yeah, just wanna find out like how the mech works in terms of the design and then try to draw, like copy, you know, that's fine too, but I'm going to do a little different. Like I'm just gonna use some parts and then turn into my, you know, just, yeah. Just change it a little bit. So, okay. Also, what's really interesting about this back view is not just the thruster, but all this negative space that's caused by you know, there's like a hatches, there's open hatches and one of the hardest thing about the mech design is the vehicle design to like, you know, futuristic mechs, it's these type of details, right? But there's only, there's some limitation. If you only study like the real world stuff, you can also study like some parts from like, you know, the propellers, different like the, you know, the military, like, you know, the, the weapons, like arsenals, but there's, there's some limitation, you know, when it comes down to like this futuristic design. So 
to me, like you know, studying this like a gunpla was always um, the best way to, you know, getting this some details, right? Right, so. Yeah, here it has like a huge foot. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to add actually another. Another thruster here. Maybe this is the backpack. I pick up some. I don't know, some like astronaut. I was like a crazy. So you don't you don't have to like finish the illustration. So I really want you to like just focus here. But at least like this gives me like just overall structure of you know how this form possibly can work. And then I can you know, you don't have to stay in like one place. I can just move to another place. Yeah, this place right here, right? So the cylinder and then, you know, this, this parts, that's really interesting. So I'm gonna try to study that. This part right here, and then this part is the same. It's just a duplicating. Yeah, so like in a, every gunpla has like in a just it's, they're sharing like some similar like joints and stuff, but some of them are like you know they're very different. So it's, it's super interesting to study all these like parts, right? And What's a cool thing about this is if you only look at just this this detail right here, this can apply to anything, right? So for example, like this could be the engine of some, you know, some of like, you know, the spaceship, or it can still be like the backpack of like, you know, some robots. But actually copying, you know, you know these details from the real model, it kind of gives you, so you can, it's kind of like a store this, the visual language to your brain. So next time, like, you know, when you try to do some like detail, it can just naturally come out. Or even if it's, you can like memorize like, exactly 100% what these are, it will still give you some ideas and how to solve, you know, some like a function, uh, function issues and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and for example, like, you know, if you look at the, the top portion of the torso, right? It's really interesting how, you know, the, this is their mechanism. They added like the extra, you know, this circle like the ball joint to the shoulder, so it can the shoulder can like, extend, and so it has like a the wider range of the movement. So, yeah, I'm going to maybe even use that. Like, you know, so if I ever draw, like, try to design like some Mac designs, 
So this part, I don't need to like copy exactly like that. So this part, like I'm going to. So let's say like if I came up with like some kind of like a, this type of like design. Okay. And the shoulder part, actually, I can actually steal the idea from that. And then it's like, it's like a really big ball joint, right? It's more like a cylinder. I can make it as a ball or I can kind of keep it similar to that. Just kind of like that. Same here. That extra joint. All right. You can, you can see this part as well. So inner parts. So it doesn't matter like even if you copy it or you, you just try to change to your own design. The important thing is this will retrain your brain. It's more as, you know, kind of like a three-dimensional parts, right? And also it has like a lot of segmentation. So it's like all, you know, just stepping this one plane, the second plane, third plane. So I can follow that, but I can just uh, use that. And then all of a sudden I can add another like cylindrical form like right there and then I can All right yeah maybe it's like a little too exaggerated but you see what I mean by and then this cylinder going through there All right yeah Maybe some. Okay. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Like if when I started um, the design of like the Mac, without this reference, it was really hard for me to come up with like some decent designs. Okay. Yeah. So that was like a quick tip. I, I know there's so many parts I can still like use it, um, but. Yeah, even let's say like just one more, like a quick thing. You know, let's look at some of these kind of like a opening mechanics in here. So if you compare it to the left and right, that's how we usually, you know, it comes comes out and then it can actually open it. So it's kind of, it's really tight because um, I painted all the, like every parts here. So this extra finish spray <laughs> makes everything like very kind of, you know, it's like very strong, but See, like when it opens it, it also has like all these different, like, you know, the materials like a silver, gold, and like all these things. These are the things you can actually apply to your mech design or the vehicle design as well. So for example, like, let's say you're designing some kind of like a flying machine, right? Whether it's like a vehicle or a spaceship, one man vehicle. I'll just come up with like a See, okay. Um, okay, so this is the part that I was thinking where it starts spreads, right? And then what I can do, okay, and then I'm just gonna apply this thing right here. So there's like a structure kind of exposed here. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not exactly the same graphic as that one, but you see the whole point, right? Maybe there's another thruster. Yeah, it's just like that. Right, so this, this part can actually fold it, it can, you know, the spray, kind of exposing the inner frame. Yeah, so you can 
just pretty much use all these different parts to create your own design, right? And then once you practice this a lot, and once you get comfortable just um, the coming up with your own design and then uh, the visual language, then at, at some point you probably don't need this, right? Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys like, you know, just quick tip. At least again, like, this helped me so much. Um, also, it'll help like if you uh, kind of make the Gunpla as like your hobby, part of your hobby, then um, rather than, you know, because it takes some time to make this and assemble this, uh, but it's not only helping, it's not just for the hobby, but also it helps your, uh, the drawing as well, because the same thing when you, when you learn the sculpting, it also you know, helps your drawing and also the vice versa. This making uh, the mech, um, the, the, just kind of like a robot, like a gun, gun plus stuff, it definitely like you know, make your, the vehicle design like in you know, a better, yeah. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.